Hello from Arizona, walking spatula and Luca in the wash. And having a fasting Saturday. Lots of good things coming my way with regard to knowledge and uh, kind of learning myself a bit in this season of life. Um, you know, maybe what you guys don't know about me, and I think it's safe to share, is um, this summer my mom went on hospice and we lost her in August. Um, and anybody that knows me probably can understand that I've been a little foggy, um, been a little bit out of touch with everybody, you know, and it's easy to kind of um, blame it or say, hey, you know, you've had to deal with a lot of stuff here in your family and that's okay and sorry for your loss, but you know, I've felt a lot of empowerment to start to look inward and try to get quite literally the joyful feeling I saw in my mom. You know, my mom could light up the room, you know, she just was kind to everybody. She saved so many people um, in just her kindness and actually deeds, was always there for folks. And so I always looked at it like, that gave me the strength or whatever to, you know, I wanted to graduate college because I just wanted to show my mom. I wanted to do this or that because I just wanted to show my mom. And, you know, that's all awesome and valid. But you know what? What I'm learning is I need to show myself, I, I need to love myself that kind of love, that I love my mom. And I don't think I have. Um, I don't even know what love yourself means, guys. I'm a pretty confident, smart, well-adjusted, I thought, human. And I'll be honest with you, I have not been happy. And it has nothing to do with me losing my mom. That's just a part of life. You know, that's just, you know, it's grief. It's, you know, but, but aside from that, um, yeah, I mean, there's something missing. And as I let go of things one by one, changed my habits, even changed my setting. Um, I, I came across, you know, I'm starting to build more relationships. I start to value relationships, but I'm feeling like I'm still not good at it. And so I, I would talk to people and if you know me, I'd say I'm almost like a robot with my emotions. And that video, I just posted a video on Facebook about avoidant attachment um get your ball luca go get your ball and man it was it gave me a lot of insight onto all the things i th have been trying to fix and missed that part of it uh, what does that mean how do you act what does that make you act like um where does it come from and he also gave some like tips on you know how to help yourself and it's you know knowledge skills and experience so that to me really resonated because i think that's the way to do life is get some knowledge gain the skills and you're going to need some experience time on task right so uh like anything uh finances health you know knowledge skills and experience doesn't sound like a bad idea um you know and something that you but trying to figure out what my problem is is not easy. Um, I've been doing some, you know, energy work of just trying to look at my past and, um, you know, and, and, and quite literally, I just explained to you guys, my mom, a great human. And so how do you say to your mom, get your, get your ball. How do you say bad things or that your mom didn't raise you right or whatever I'm thinking I'm saying right now? Well, what you mentioned was it's, you know, kind of like a latchkey kid um, thing that happens to you when you're young. And I know my mom did her best, but, you know, she had to work, man. She had, I mean, she put herself through college before I turned five. She got herself a, by herself, a Fortune 500 company job and had to work 
just like everybody else. I remember days, you know, that I had to stay home sick by myself and I was in, you know, elementary school. And that if you're my age, I'm I'm 46. Um, you know, I think you might understand, you know, and we're not trying to blame I'm not trying to blame anybody for anything. What I'm learning about this avoidant attachment thing, it's survival, man. It's a survival mechanism that, you know, um, he mentioned, he was talking about men. He said there's a small amount of women. This guy is a therapist that kind of specializes in this, um, avoidant attachment theory. And I'm watching, walking the dog, so forgive me. One of them, I, she's attached, so it's going to make, make a little jerky. Hopefully you can, like, stay with me here. I'll, I'll kind of... I just got to make this video for everybody because, uh, you know, I got to take a little responsibility and also maybe shed the knowledge uh, of where I've been, what I'm doing in, in my psyche and in my uh, self-work and trying to become a Harley I always wanted or I, just trying to become the best version of myself, quite literally. So, you know, if if you're what the term latched key kid uh, comes up, check out that check out the survival mechanism of avoidant attachment. It really, you know, I've been looking at other things um, regarding myself. I've been, you know, trying to put the past traumas away, um, and, and traumas are an everyday kind of thing, guys. Like all a trauma is is something negative that came across your path. Um, so. Um, just wanted to share that with you guys. I'll, I'll make some more videos as my phone's going dead here and the sun's going down, but you know, love you all. And, uh, I, I just hope that you guys are hearing this with love and, and I'll, I'll be in touch soon.